Shalom. Call Halal Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Raka Kadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught me this truth and rule well. Salutations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity and risking their lives and their freedom to do so. To you I say Shalom. To the Akiam and to the Akwaf. That'll be your brothers and sisters. Adawan Rataza. That is to say, Lord willing. Hopefully by the end of this lesson you'll be edified. This is your brother Amawan Ibad. Back again with another lesson to the spirit and power of Yahweh Ba Shim Yahweh Shai. To feed the lambs of Yahweh Wah Yahweh Shai. And this lesson. Today is an in transit, and I'm going to be going into how this world is a sick, demonic, evil world, man. All right, this world is a sick, demonic, evil world, man. All right, it's, it's, it's a lot of evil out here, man. Okay. So I'm going to start with the first scripture. This is um, this is the book of um, St. John, chapter 7 and verse 7, right? And this is red letter. This is, this is our Lord speaking, Yahweh Shai. You know, anywhere you see red letter in the Bible is our Lord speaking. So this is what our Lord testified. The world cannot hate you, but me it hated because I testify of it that the works thereof are evil. Okay? So that's why that's why they despised the Lord. Because he was he was he was telling truth. He was all about truth. He was that light. You know, let me read it again. The world cannot hate you, you know, meaning his prophets, okay? But me it hated. Why? Because we speak in his words, the words of the Bible to warn you of the way not to live and what's going on in the world and what to be and what to watch out for. Because we speak truth. Okay? It says the world can hate you, but it hated me because I testify of it that the works thereof are evil. Okay? So now, this, this lesson was inspired by two videos that I just seen real quick on, 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 on my WhatsApp. You know, sometimes you get videos in your WhatsApp, like um, two different uh, 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 feeds from different people, from different chat groups. I don't even know where they came from, but I don't know where they came from. You just know something. You don't have to click on them. Sometimes they would open up into the section where you you, you just go to um, videos, like and you just see a portion of videos there. Like you never clicked on them, but they just there. I click on the video. The first video I saw, it seemed like in, a, in some other country, some foreign country somewhere, looked like Central America, but could be. Anyway, it doesn't have to be there. I see this lady on the ground, like her hand tied and stuff like that. Her hand tied up, and she laying the ground on the ground. Next thing I know is an axe came to her head. I, I had to back up off the video like real quick. An axe came to her head. I said, "Man, I don't want to see this shit, man." You know what I'm saying? But that's the kind of evil that's out here, man. All right. The scriptures say. Uh, uh, as a matter of fact, we could go to it. But I'll go to it. Let me I'll tell you about the next video. And I see the next video because there's a whole bunch of video, different types of video. I'm trying to erase videos off my phone so I can actually make a video. You know? So I, I, I click on the next video because I back up over that like super quick. Then I see the next one. The next one was even was even worse. Okay? I'm trying to back, take the videos off the phone so I can make space. Once again, I don't even know 
which thread these videos come from. The video is just there. It, it like it go to the, the to the to the what the download parts of your phone like it downloads somehow but I ain't, I ain't download it I'm just seeing video and, and trying to erase them to make space on the phone so I can actually make video you know when I see the next video you know you, you you don't know where these videos made you don't know what country they made in or whatever you know it don't seem like it's it's here and, and, and it doesn't like it's here in America you know. But the next video was like a uh, 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 like a head, a head, a head on the ground, and somebody like sticking it with a pitchfork, like like pushing it, some shit. I, I had to back up of that shit, like I mean that, that even didn't play for uh, for uh, two seconds before my uh, uh, kind of see what that was would looking like. I was like my goodness, and I just back up off. I was like, man, I don't know where it come from. Or whatever, but I'm like, this is some bullshit, man. You know, but that's the sort of evil in the world, man. You know, and the scripture warns you of these things. Let's let's get it real quick. Let's go to the book of Matthew, chapter um, Matthew chapter 24 and verse 12. Right. This is the book of Matthew chapter 24 and verse 12. It says. And because iniquity shall abound. Okay, let's go into what is iniquity. Iniquity is sin upon sin. Okay? All right? And, and we know sin is the transgression of the law. Okay? First John chapter 3 and verse 4. Okay? Sin is the transgression of the law. It says... Matthew chapter 24 and verse 12 And because iniquity Shall abound The love of many Shall wax cold So iniquity is abounding And remember The wages of sin is death It tells you that in the book of Romans chapter 6 And verse 23 Alright The wages of sin is death And that's why The more iniquity The, uh, the more iniquity abounds The love of many is going to wax cold so I tell you, I, I see those videos. I was, I was very disturbing, man. But hey, that's 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 nothing compared to the times that we're coming into. Okay, but I'm gonna speak a little bit on, 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 on the times that we're coming into shortly. I'm gonna just get a a couple of precepts what I had here, you know, because iniquity is abounding and the love of many is waxing cold. I'm going to read this. This is the book of Proverbs. Proverbs chapter 6 and verse 16. It says, These six things doeth the Lord hate. Yea, seven are an abomination unto him. A proud look, a lying tongue, and hands that are, and hands that shed innocent blood. Okay? Hands that shed innocent blood, and heart that devised wicked imaginations, a heart which goes into your, to your mind. Okay? A heart that devised wicked imaginations. Feet that be swift in running to mischief. A false witness that speaketh lies, and he that soweth discord among brethren. Hey, the love of many is waxing cold in these times, man. All right? The love of many is waxing cold this time in these times. You have to be careful. You know what I'm saying? Be careful out here. Okay? Seek the Lord in these times because we're living in a time of judgment. Okay? Great evils is out here, man. All right? That's not, ain't no going around it. That, that's just what it is. All right? It's no going around it, man. That's, that's just what it is. All right? Um, let me get the book of Ecclesiasticus. Book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 14. Ecclesiasticus, otherwise known as Sirach, in the Apocrypha, chapter 14, and verse 5, it says, He that is evil to himself, to whom will he be good? Okay, so uh, a lot of these people out here, they don't even have love for their own self, man. So they'll, they'll murk you in a minute, they'll murder you in a second, man. Look what happened in uh, 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 Georgia, Atlanta, uh, what it was, day before yesterday. That's a couple of days ago. Eight people shot. Look what happened in Chicago. 
I didn't have to tell you people get shot in, in Chicago regularly. But they just had an incident there just uh, other, uh, yesterday, I believe. Salaki, I'm going through security. Good morning, how you doing? How you doing? Good morning. It, it does work. <laughs> All right, man. Good morning. Salaki. You know, look what's going on. Look what's going on in, in, in these places, man. Okay, the love of many is waxing coal. All right? Ecclesiasticus or Sirach, otherwise known as Sirach in the Apocrypha, chapter 14 and verse 5. He that is evil to himself, to whom will he be good? Okay? He shall not take pleasure in his goods. Okay? We don't know the reason why a lot of these things happen. Who do, who, what, what is the cause, what caused the problem. But one thing we know for sure is that it's judgment. Okay, that's what it is. It's judgment. The Heavenly Father, the Heavenly Father judging uh, 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 these different souls. Okay, all spirits belong to the Father. He's the Father of spirits. It tells us that in the book of Hebrews. Okay, Hebrews chapter 12. Okay, and the, 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 the issues of death belongs to the Most High. A sparrow doesn't fall to the earth. A sparrow is a bird. A sparrow doesn't fall to the earth and it's not sanctioned by the Most High. It, it, the Most High doesn't know of it. The scripture tells you wisdom of Solomon chapter uh, 12 and verse 1. Thine incorruptible spirit is in all things. Okay? So we live in a time of great judgment, man. Okay? We live in a time of great judgment. All right? As a matter of fact, let me get a scripture for that real quick. Okay? Uh, let's go to the book of uh, Jeremiah real quick. I'm, I'm going to get ready to close out because I reached my destination. And I don't want to be late because we'll be having a meeting first thing in the morning. Uh, let's go to Jeremiah real quick and grab that. Uh, the book of Jeremiah. Um, Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter uh, 9. Chapter 9. Beginning at verse 23. Okay. Oh, man, what is the phone doing, man? Come on, man. I don't, I don't have the time, man. Jeremiah chapter 9. The phone doing what the hell it want to do, man. Book of Jeremiah chapter 9. I'm going, I'm trying to get to the uh, the 23rd verse. I'm gonna read 23, 23 and 24. This is Jeremiah chapter 9 and verse 20, 23. It says, Thus said the Lord, let not the wise man glory in his wisdom, neither let the mighty man glory in his might. Let not the rich man glory in his riches. This is the point. But let him that glorieth glory in this, that he understandeth and knoweth me, the Lord. That I am Yahweh, okay, the Lord, which exercise loving kindness, judgment, okay, and righteousness in the earth. For in these things I delight, said the Lord. The Lord delight in his judgment, man. Okay? All right? The Lord says, uh, every morning do I bring it forth. Uh, what's that? Zephaniah 3 and 5, I believe. Uh, let's see if I can find that real quick. Every morning do his judgment go, go uh, forth. Uh, let me see if that's it. Zephaniah 3 and 5. Khan. This is the book of uh, Zephaniah chapter 3 and verse 5. It says, The just Lord is in the midst thereof, and he will not do iniquity. Every morning do he bring his judgment to light. Okay? He fail it not, but the unjust know it no shame. So every morning you wake up, it's something on the news. Somebody was put to death. This judgment. We live in a time of great judgment. It says, every morning doeth he bring his judgment to light. So you would wake up in the morning time, you see on the news somebody crashed in a car, somebody got shot, whatever. It is judgment. Okay, let's go to the book of Psalms. Uh, 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 Psalms. Uh, 68 
and 20. The book of Psalm 68 and 20, and it reads, He that is our power is the power of salvation, and unto the Most High, the Lord, belong the issues from death. Okay, so the issues of death belongs to the Most High. When a person dies, the Most High sanction that he call whom that spirit. He that is our power is the power of salvation, and unto the Most High, the Lord, belong the issues of death, man. All right, and it tells in the book of Job, we could grab it real quick. Job chapter 4 and verse 7. Whoever died being innocent, man. Okay, Job chapter 4. Job chapter 4, verse 7. All right, if we're living in a time of great judgment, it would behoove you to seek the Lord, man. Job chapter 4 and verse 7, it says, Remember, I pray thee, whoever perished being innocent. We all, we all, our righteousness are as filthy rags, man. We all have sinned. Okay, that's why you have to repent and turn back to the Lord. All right, so 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 your sins may be blotted out in the time, and when the time of refreshing shall come, uh, before the, in the presence of the Lord. Okay, roughly paraphrasing um, Acts chapter three and verse nineteen, it says, um, Job chapter four and verse seven. Remember, I pray thee, whoever perished being innocent, or where were the righteous cut cut off? Even as I have seen, they that plow iniquity and sow wickedness. Reap the same. That's right. Verse 9. By the blast of the Most High they perish, and by the breath of his nostrils are they consumed. So, hey, we live in a time of great judgment. You got to be very careful out here, man. You got to be very careful out here, man. All right? You got to be very careful out here. All right? I want to bring out some more scriptures, but um, I see I'm, I'm around out of time, and I don't want to be late. Okay? Uh, we just was warned about that... Um, yesterday let me see if i can grab these two scriptures right quick uh uh you know what i'm gonna close it out because this is gonna make me late um hey hopefully you were edified man hey be careful out here walk circumspect all right walk circumspect we're coming in a time of, 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 of great tribulation man jacob's trouble you so-called negroes latinos and native americans whose blood lineage goes back to Abraham, isaac and jacob it's such a time called jacob's trouble they're talking about you Okay, Jacob is the progenitor of the, of the patriarch of the 12 tribes of Israel. Okay, and they're going to come at you. The devil is going to come down having great wrath because you know that they have a, but a short time. So tribulation is coming. It's on the way. All right, the, the scripture tells you that that's how you're going to enter the kingdom of the Most High, the elect, to great tribulation. And if the righteous scarcely be shaved, 1 Peter chapter 4 and verse 18, where shall the sinner and the ungodly appear? Seek the Lord in these times. Seek the Lord. Okay, while he may be found, call ye upon him while he's near. Okay. Seek Yahweh Ba Shem Shai. Hopefully you will edify. I have to end it there. I'm going to go ahead and give all honor and glory and praises unto Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai Ba Hashem Kadash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of greatness too, who taught me this truth and rule well. Salutations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity and risking their lives and their freedom to do so. Okay, until the next time, Adawan Rathazada, as I say, Lord willing, I'm going to say Shalom.